Get three months of local news for just 99 cents a month. You'll get unlimited access to the news you need to stay engaged and connected to your community. Visit BrainerDispatch.com slash subscribe to get three months of local news for only 99 cents a month. Good morning, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Wednesday, March 20th. I'm Dylan Howard with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. Sometimes all one can do is laugh at the duality of nature. On one hand, a historically dry winter, with about 10.9 total inches of snow and 4.5 inches of rain thus far, pushed all of Cass County and the northwest third of Crow Wing County into severe drought conditions. On the other hand, a pair of early spring storms might bring up to 6 inches of snow to areas of central Minnesota, including the Brainerd area, Thursday through this weekend. The snow could perhaps provide a respite from drought conditions that are hammering the area and driving up fire danger. Editor Matt Erickson has more on the weather conditions in today's paper and at BrainerdDispatch.com. After unsatisfactory interviews with potential candidates, the Brainerd City Council will hire GMP consultants to conduct the search for a new public utilities director. Council members made the decision at their meeting Monday night. They also agreed to hire Patrick Wusso as interim public utilities director until a new director is hired. Current director Todd Wickland plans to retire in May. Find the full story in today's Dispatch or online. Utilizing a relatively new tool in law enforcement, the Crow Wing County Drone Team attends monthly training to maintain its readiness as team members prepare to respond to any situation. The drone team was established to assist in a variety of missions that include search and rescue, crime and crash scene reconstruction, structural and wild land fires, storm damage assessments, warrant services, and interior building searches. Each drone pilot must perform a variety of tasks and is required to fly both night and day. Check out reporter Tim Spire's story in today's Dispatch for more on the drone team's operations. Dispatch reporters Teresa Burke and Tim Spire documented their hunt for Brainerd's St. Patrick's Day medallion in a column in today's paper. Check it out if you want a breakdown on all of the clues that led to the prize. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, this was Brainerd exploring the Dispatch archives. Here's today's tidbit of local history. 100 years ago today, in 1924, the dispatch reported that Coroner D.E. Whitney, in answer to a call from Albert Humble, Crosby Undertaker, left at 3.30 this afternoon for the Milford Mine, where it is stated that one of the bodies of the 42 disaster victims was found this afternoon. This is the first result from the enormous task of dewatering the mine flooded on February 5th. No more details available now. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lake Area forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Weather for the Brainerd area today, looking at plenty of sunshine once again, but still on the breezy side with winds coming in from the north. Much cooler than yesterday, too. Temperatures only in the mid-20s this afternoon. Temperatures dropping back down into the lower teens for tonight. We'll start to cloud up and mostly cloudy skies for Thursday. Chances of snow move in in the evening and overnight hours. Temperatures getting back down to around 20 degrees for Thursday night. I'm Storm Tracker Meteorologist Robert Pointer. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.